Uh, I'm Nick Malice. I am the director of the Trash Free Seas program here at Ocean Conservancy. Now, simply put, the Trash Free Seas program's focus is trying to stop plastics and other forms of trash from entering the ocean and waterways to make our ocean a more resilient place in the future. But for the past 30 years, through our International Coastal Cleanup, which is a once a year global effort to remove trash from beaches, waterways, and underwater habitats around the world, volunteers come out, give their time, and, and not only pick up trash that is littering these environments, but also document every item of trash they pick up on our official data form. Over that three decade period, we've seen more than 200 million pounds of trash picked up thanks to the efforts of 11 million volunteers. Rigid plastics and bottles and things that can break down into small fragments are often ingested and pose the most significant risk to many of the marine organisms. We have found everything, you know, the kitchen sink, wedding dresses, mannequins, grenades, you name it, it has been found during the cleanup. More than 650 species of marine animals have been documented to be impacted. That's 100% of the sea turtle species, more than 60% of all whales and dolphin species out there, and more than 60% of the seabirds. So when we look at these data and we start thinking about, well, how do you take what we have found and actually translate that into action? Certainly we cannot simply ban our way out of the marine debris or the plastics problem, but there are some products like plastic bags where we know suitable alternatives exist that do not have an environmental impact. Surfers really are the stewards of the ocean. We, we live out there every day if possible, and there are a few things you can do. Thinking about the products we use in our everyday lives, taking your reusable bag with you, carrying your clean canteen or your hydro flask. There's always a wrapper or a straw or something lingering on the beach that you know, as you're walking out, just snag it and toss it. And then lastly, it's just thinking about how can you support good practices by purchasing the products or supporting the different industries that are working towards solutions. The places where plastic inputs are greatest currently are these places where plastic consumption is drastically increasing. But unfortunately, the waste management and the ability for these countries to deal with their waste has not been able to keep pace. I was fortunate to actually travel to the Philippines and meet the locals who are very much aware of this problem. I was standing on the beach in uh, Dagupan and literally watching as plastic bags blew out of a burning dump site onto the beach into the ocean. And there are kids right there playing in that water. When I was in Peru last year, with every wave, you could see the barrel kind of littered with trash. And so you go out there and you remove all of these debris items from the beach. And within a couple of weeks, it, it washes back up and a, and a new wave of trash comes in. We took 26,000 pounds of trash off a single half mile stretch of beach. And, and the people who work there said it'll all be back in about two weeks. While the cleanup is this phenomenal global effort, it raises awareness, it does get trash off the beach, it's preventing these items from entering the ocean. It's not our long-term solution. Eight million metric tons of plastic are entering the ocean annually. And in the next 10 years, we may in fact have an ocean that has one pound of plastic for every three pounds of fin fish. It doesn't take a mathematician to know that that is not a sustainable pathway. You turn the faucet off first and then you worry about cleaning up the spill. But until we actually stop more stuff from entering the ocean, any effort we do to clean up out in the ocean where it's adrift is really a futile effort. In big swells, we try and keep most people out of any dangerous areas on the beach. Surf gets very large and very unpredictable and can come up within a couple hours.